Today, we're going to compare two pistols, both designed by Colt in the same year, 1903, with very similar names, but very different designs. The Colt Automatic Pistol, pocket model, caliber 38, and the Colt Automatic Pistol, pocket model, caliber 32, hammerless. I'm Jim Humphrey with Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training. More commonly known as the Colt 1903 Pocket and the Colt 1903 Pocket Hammerless, these are both John Browning designs. Both released in 1903, each with a number of similar design features. So let's examine these pistols and learn how to field strip them. First, the, on 1903 Pocket Pistol and 38 ACP. Made from 1903 till about 1927, Colt produced about 31,000 of these pistols. Fundamentally, this pistol is a cut down version of the 1902 Sporting Model, which was Colt's first full production model of an auto pistol. That's what leads to some of the confusion surrounding this pistol. It looks a lot like a Model 1902. It's just a little shorter, but it has the same name and is very similar to the vastly more popular Hammerless 1903. This pistol was only ever chambered in the 38 ACP, which may have contributed to its lack of popularity. While the 38 ACP was considered quite a step up from the popular caliber of the day, the 32 Colt, it was quickly eclipsed by the 45 ACP and the 9mm Parabellum, both created around the same time. The 38 ACP was possibly tarnished by the 38 Long Colt's alleged performance during the Moro Rebellion in the Philippines, which arguably led to the development of the 45 ACP. With the advent of the 38 Super some 25 years later, the 38 ACP faded into history. And that brings up an important point. The 38 Super, while dimensionally identical to the 38 ACP, should never be used in this pistol. The 38 Super is much too powerful for pistols chambered in 38 ACP. This caliber, coupled with this rather large frame and a so-called pocket pistol, within a few years left this pistol in between the true small frame pocket pistol and say a 32 ACP and the large frame, more powerful 45 ACP pistol, which likely contributed to the demise of this pistol in 1927. All that said, this is a finely made pistol with very Spartan features, no external safety, no slide stop, a flip lever style magazine release. This particular one was made in 1912. And we can tell it's a later model because of the hammer style and the uh, types of serrations on the slide. Let's field strip it. Of course, we need to clear it, make sure it's safe to work on, and remove all line of ammunition from the work area. Without a slide stop, this is a little bit awkward, but take your time. You'll work it out. It's held together with this mortise style pin near the barrel. To field strip it, you only need to apply a little bit of pressure to the takedown plug, which compresses the retractor spring, and the pin should just fall out to the left-hand side. Now, release the pressure on the takedown lever and cock the hammer and the slide should remove to the rear. This is a short recoil operated pistol. So you can see how this barrel locks up in a rather unusual parallel ruler type fashion. Now the owner's manual says you can remove the barrel by using a punch and knocking out these two pins. This barrel remover is a little bit challenging. A detailed demo is available in the disassembly video on the Imminent Threat Defense Channel. You can remove the stocks and pretty much clean everything without any further disassembly. It goes back together in reverse order. Reassemble, bring the slide in from the rear, and move it all the way forward. Then orient the mortise pin. Notice it only goes in one way from the left hand side with this little nub lined up to the rear. Place pressure on the takedown plug 
and the, and the pin should fall through without any force. Now let's have a look at the 1903 hammerless. Manufactured from about 1903 to 1945, over 500,000 of these pistols were produced in 32 ACP and 380. Over the years, it evolved through some five major variants and some more sub-variants. This is the first variant, and this serial number shows us it was manufactured in 1905. Commonly referred to as the 1903 hammerless, it's not a truly hammerless pistol. It has an internal hammer. But it does have a number of other interesting features. This is a blowback design with a grip safety and a thumb safety. The thumb safety also doubles as a slide stop lever. It has a toolless takedown that involves twisting the barrel. As you can see, this one has been refinished, but it has a set of mother of pearl grips. These were a deluxe feature from the factory. Let's field strip this one. First, double check, clear it again. It's clear. You first have to pull the slide back to a takedown mark on the right hand side. I find it easiest to put my thumb through the trigger guard and pull back with my index finger and line up the mark. And then twist the barrel clockwise. This can take a little fussing because the parts have to line up exactly. Then remove the slide and the barrel. Remove the bushing by rotating at 180 degrees and then rotate the barrel back to its original position and it will slide out. The retractor spring and guide can be removed. You can remove the grips and pretty much access everything you need for cleaning. For a more complete disassembly, see the video on the Imminent Threat Defense Channel. Assembly is pretty much in the reverse order. Insert the retractor spring and guide into the frame, insert the barrel into the slide, the grooves up, get to the rotation place just in front of the ejection port, rotate the barrel, insert the bushing, and rotate at 180 degrees. Now replace the slide, pull it forward to the aligning mark, and rotate the barrel into position. I find it easiest to look through the ejection port and line up the feed wrap to see which way to rotate the barrel. Well, that's the Colt Automatic Pistol Pocket Model Caliber 38 and the Colt Automatic Pistol Pocket Model Caliber 32 Hammerless. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm Jim Humphrey with Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training. Enjoy your firearms. Join the NRA and be safe out there. Thanks.